Hip-hop since 1987.com. Log on. Yo, what up? It's your boy Meek Millie right here kicking it on Hip Hop since 1987. Philly in the building. Double MG. Dream Chasers Records. You already know. Get ready for that DC3 coming soon. Batman, um, just want to start off. Congrats on your 2012. You know, you worked yeah, real hard. We seen you come up. And you ended it off real well. You, you dropped your debut album, Dreams and Nightmares. I mean, but it's 2013 now. And people want to know, like, what's up with Meek Mill? Oh, uh, yeah. Me, you know, more music, more money. Uh, more grinding. Next level shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I've been getting better and better as time come. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a Philly blog too. I, I like to I like to talk Philly. Like. Same thing up with McMillan. I was up in 2008. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Turn up time. You know what I'm saying? I always been on that time for a long time. A lot of niggas too. That's what I be want to address too. A lot of niggas be acting like they forgot. I don't be understanding when I be looking at niggas hating and shit, shit like that. Nigga, this shit been going on for. What what have been going on for since 2008 or some shit like that? The city been on smash since 2008, far as I can recall. I ain't, I ain't I ain't really been seeing nobody doing it the way I've been doing it out here. You know what I'm saying? There been a few other guys. You know we had the Reed Dollars, Joey Jahad, Cooley Mills era. Can't hate on that. They was killing in their time when we all was doing our thing. And you know I was the one that rose above that. 2009. Rose above that, 2010, 2011. I got to deal with Ricky Ross. 12, we uh, WMG. I think uh, we did pretty well. 2012, and 2013 is just trying to turn up. You know what I'm saying? More Meek Mill, more WMG. Open my own record label. You know what I'm saying? Early in the game, you know I'm about money. I made a lot of money last year in 2012, 2013. Open up my own label, make a lot more money. Close some more endorsements and uh, step this rapping up, man. Step my grinding up, take it to the next level. Right, right. So, um, fans want to know, like, when you gonna drop that intro video? Like, everybody waiting. You leak yeah. couple photos on Instagram. Like, everybody wait, waiting. Like, yeah. Uh, I was supposed to drop the intro video. I didn't like the first edit, so uh, I got uh somebody from my camp to come in and put an extra edit down on it. So you know, it, it delayed it for like thirty days. But the video should be out in two weeks. I I, I uh, email about it every morning. And, you know, we just waiting for it to get clear for uh, certain little scenes and everything to be clear to go through so we can play it on TV. Cool, cool. Now, you've been teasing us a lot recently with uh, Dream Chasers 3, the artwork on Instagram, and you've been talking about DC3. Like. Yeah, and that ain't the actual, that ain't the actual uh, artwork for DC3. Uh, I, I just thought that was a good picture. And then when I upload it, you know, I, I load shit up on Instagram. I look at the picture, save camera roll. Upload. When I look at the bottom, it said DC three. I mean, Dream Chasers three at the bottom. So I didn't really know that was the cover. I, I that that uh, it said Dream Chasers three at the bottom. But when I see everybody tweeting, I'm like, man, they really think this is the cover. And then when I really sat back and looked at it, it said Dream Chasers three at the album at the bottom. But that's really not the cover. So you think it's fair to say like Dream Chasers three is on? <clears throat> it's in the works. It's gonna be coming out real soon. Uh, I didn't say real soon. I say if I am one until Dream Chasers two gonna okay. come, Dream Chasers three gonna come out. Any like crazy features, producers on the, on the uh, project so far? Uh, you know, my, my crazy producers, Jalil B, Tone Beast, Cardiac. Uh, a new guy that sent some beats, I think his name called The Futures, Beast was fire. He did that uh, intro to Juel's drink, showing okay, up. Okay, okay. That beat was fire. Uh, you know, I stick to the scripts, anything I've been doing, you know, I'll be working with, uh, who is the few? I got a banger from, uh, the kid Cardo, it's a kid named Cardo. Me and Future did a drink to it. It's called Money Ain't No Issue. That drink fire. Uh, I got kids jumping on the drink. Me off off a tone beat. You know why they rose the whole MMG that come automatic. Okay, okay, okay. Now I seen you on Instagram tonight. Talk about le leaking a record today. Like, can you talk to us about that record? Uh yeah. Uh, by the time it's black, come out the record probably should be out already. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's called From the Bottom. Uh, you know I'm just addressing a lot of everybody talking. Meek Mill, he talk about stunting too much, he talk about money too much. Like, I always thought the saying was, if you ain't talking about money, don't talk about nothing. Or if you ain't talking about nothing that can motivate the next person, don't talk about nothing. Like, me, when I was when I was cracked, I used to listen, to, I ain't, I ain't really used to listen to whole like that when I was in the streets real grinding, toting guns all day, smoking weed and doing dumb shit. I was listening to... Styles maybe or Kiss, they was talking the shit I wanted to hear. But as I started making a little bit of money and 
started winning the head. I hope I didn't know what he was talking about at first all the mm -hmm. time. He might have said he might have said AP back in yeah. in in '06. Like, you know, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. knew what he was talking about when he was talking AP back in '06. So you know what? As I started making money, I started wanting to hear more about the hustle. And you know, Kiss was talking about that hustle too. I always stayed on Kiss 100. But you know, I started wanting to hear about money. And you know, this song I'm just addressing about everybody got an opinion. Of, don't have no opinion about me if you don't know me. Now the time I be hearing these niggas talking about Meek Mill, he changed this, that, and the third. They don't know me. P my iced out. <laughs> O'Malley iced out. Coon got a Ferrari. Phil got a Bentley. Everybody around me getting money, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's still the same. Only nigga saying on uh, the Meek Mill chain, they don't know me, you know what I'm saying? My sister don't live in the hood, my mind don't live in the hood, you know what I'm saying? I, I still feel the same enough. So if you don't know me, shut the fuck up. So, this song, I'm really just like, like addressing shit like that and just talking about how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I, if, if, if anybody know me, I always been on some fuck whoever shit. And if I wasn't famous, I'd really be saying fuck a lot of these motherfuckers. But you know, it's a political game. You can't really mm -hmm. talk the way you want to talk. But me, if I was the the me before this little rap shit, I'd say fuck all you niggas. I'd be punching y'all niggas in the face, probably go doing some dumb shit. But fortunately, I'm making money. I got a, I got a promising career. I'm taking care of my family. You know, I'm handling my business. You know, and staying out the way. I'm not a humble guy. I've never been a humble guy. We arguing about dirt bikes and Willie, and I'm not going to be a humble guy. Go YouTube old video. I'm not going to be humble about Willie and no bike. So I ain't going to be humble about make, making a lot of money because, you know what I'm saying, we come from the bottom, and anybody that come from the bottom going to represent when they make money because, you know what I'm saying, we've been living in the dark the whole time, so why not shine, you know what I'm saying? Today is a light day. Be lucky I ain't got my best chains for this hip hop. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to do. I like to shine. I like to live life. Life ain't all about the hood. And, and when I come to the hood, I'm not. Any nigga know I'm in the hood every day. I ain't pulling no phantoms out and everybody faces all day. I go, I still eat at. I eat every day. When I come out, I eat at Reddy's. Mm -hmm. That's on Lehigh Avenue. That's not my hood. That's a whole different area. I eat at Bella's. That's my hood around right there. Blumberg Projects, mm -hmm. Oxford. For, I, I be at from Gerard to, I say to Lehigh basically. And yeah, that's why I still, that's why I get my clothes cleaned at. That's why I eat at. I still pull up on corners. I'm tenant. I don't have to beat my horn or roll the window down and stop to holler at niggas in my hood. I don't play no corners. Why would I play a corner? I'm rich. I'm on, I'm on probation. People can't wait to see my downfall. So I don't be on no corner and shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Any club, any party, if I feel as though it's a popping party and it's appropriate for me, I'm going to go. I'm still all the way A1 in my head. I'm all the way good, so, you know. Niggas say I changed from you. Know, you never know me. 2012, you, you got, a, got a lot of endorsement deals. You got one for Puma. Like, we recently seen another artist, Tiana Teller. She got a, her own signature shoe with Adidas dropping next month. Like, yeah. will you ever drop your own signature shoe with Puma? Uh, Yeah, you know, we got that in the works right now. You know what I'm saying? It's all about me. I just started off as... Uh, being endorsed by Puma, we that wasn't in my situation, but you know, I got a good team behind me, and we're working on that as of now. Okay, okay. Now, like the streets want to know, like you know, they they they've been locked on you for the last couple of weeks. You know what yeah. I mean, you've been going back and forth with Cassidy. You know, they want to know, like, will you respond or not? Like, See, my whole thing is like, you know, like when you going back and forth with somebody, man, if you think two bags, if I think three weeks back you wouldn't ask me this question. Mm -hmm. If you if I if we this record or whatever and after you this record the next day you gotta try to drop a new song and you try and benefit off me, that's when it becomes not a game no more. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you, you ain't benefiting off of me. That little shit, your interviews, that shit go that it go away in four weeks and fifty days or some shit like that. That shit is all over with. So like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when it become that it ain't it ain't fun no more to me. It's a nigga trying to steal from me, basically. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I just, I just let you hear three, four minutes of me going in on dude, but I ain't gonna drop it. The whole thing is, man. I make boss moves. I make power moves. I get money. I'm living life. I'm taking care of my family. My bills is paid up. Fuck niggas. If, 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 if that's you know the game, it ain't nothing really going on right now. Mm -hmm. So, for, for uh. 
for the internet why it's like they don't got nothing else to look forward to when they wake up. All they got to do is cash and eat this and meet me with this. We ain't doing that no more, nigga. Make a single, nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't do that all the time. I'm not. That's not my twist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did it for the hell of you. was running your mouth. First of all, we're going to get this out of the way, too. This is one last time. Any, and and this this only for a Finney interview. Any of y'all niggas ask me for a, about a Cassidy question, we're going to cut the interview. This this a hip-hop. This Philly, so we're going to do whatever. We ain't got no limits to this interview. But first of all, because he, he a weirdo from the town. We ain't going to use his name no more. Because he a weirdo from the town. He can't come back to the city, really. Last five times he's been back to the city, he was back here with me or even A.R. Uh He ain't addressed everything A.R. said and none of his rap because he won't address it. He's scared to address it. He won't dare address that. And A.R. ain't saying nothing new. He's been saying shit like this. He only saying it because of the camera. We talk every day, damn near. And this before, when A.R. got shot ten times, I'm the only nigga talking to him. When he did the song with Swiss, I played parts in putting that together with A.R.A. and Lincoln with Swiss and doing a song. Uh, you know, cuz, not even official. My, back in the day, it was either, you were 50 Cent or Ja Rule. I was mm -hmm. with 50 Cent. No disrespect to Ja Rule. I was with 50 Cent. Ja Rule, 50 Cent made Ja Rule look bad at the time. And it's, I'm, I'm with 50 Cent, man. It's like, if, 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 if you see O'Malley go on a DVD and talk crazy about me, don't, don't listen to my raps no more. If he tell you, he might, he might just be, if it's 45 minutes of just straight nonsense, he's just going in on me. I don't want you to listen to my shit no more. It's, it's, it's real and it's fake. And that's, and, that's, and that's the difference with the game right now, man. I stick to the script. I ain't, I ain't you want to see me with no tight ass clothes on, no freaky ass clothes, no dumb ass, no dumb ass songs to sell no records. Nigga, I stick to the script. I make good music. I rap hood shit. I rap about money. The life I'm living right now, I ain't doing none of that freak dumb ass shit. And for a nigga to say they made a lane for Philly. Y'all niggas, first of all, you had a dumbass song, Come to My Hotel. Drum and bass, a, a dumbass song. Drake and My Two Step, a dumbass song. Nigga, my, none of my shit don't even go near a direction like that. My shit, I'm a boss. I'm talking about riding through my old hood. But I'm in my new whip. Same old. You ever seen my ghost before? Mm -hmm. I been I ride through my hood and my ghost when I had my shit out here. Same old attitude, but I never. Was, they said they gonna rob me. See me never do shit. Meet me in the bathroom. I fuck a lot of water running. That's me and Leek Wayne's out Vegas. When I see my youngin in the other room fucking up, like that's my Leek Wayne's before he went to the NBA. Mm -hmm. I don't hang around a nigga cause he in the NBA. You'll never see me with Leek Wayne's. That was me and him out Vegas. Been doing this. This shit was years ago. House party been out for two, three years now. And uh. You know, my shit don't consist of that for a motherfucker to say, oh, only thing I say, open the door for fucking Philly. I say Benny Siegel. I say fucking, uh, the prop. A few motherfuckers from the prop. I mean, really, Freeway. I say Benny Siegel. I say Freeway. I say, uh, The Roots. I say The Eve. I say Jill Scott. I say Will Smith. I don't think, I don't think I'm homie when it comes to Philly. You know what I'm saying? And a Philly motherfucker shouldn't even want to represent. Nigga don't even dress like he from Philly. Niggas wear 5X shirts and dumbass, thick ass Air Force Ones and, and do-rags and shit like that. Well, that don't represent Philly, you know what I'm saying? And me, I ain't even had a... I don't even want to make it like I'm just zeroing on board trying to make them look bad, man. Do what you do to get money. All that, when you make a video, when you make a video with the GDs and then when somebody that be with me run up on you and punch you in your mouth, then I'm going to be the bad guy. But now you're taking it to another level, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you rap, rap. You know what I'm saying? You're making, a, you're making a video about some shit with the JDs in North Carolina. I just came from North Carolina mm -hmm. to keep it all the way 100. As a matter of fact, come here to bring that, swing that camera over. Let's keep it over. See, I'm a bike nigga at heart. I'm watching ASAP Top. He be talking shit about bikes. I talk shit about bikes. I'm not humble about bikes. I'm watching Rest in Peace Raid Day. I'm a bike nigga at heart. This dumbass nigga getting on here talking some dumbass shit. Jay, you can ask the next question while we pulling this up. Oh uh, man, you know. Also, while we while we talking about the whole Cassidy thing, a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of people felt that the air app. Might have been promised something, that you promised him something, or you might have paid him to even do the video. That was <laughs> shot by Rick Danes right there. Man, the listen. Camera. We men of respect, we men of integrity, man. First of all, 
if AI would take money to to disrespect this man, would that make him? AI app ain't never no, been known for no sucker that's gonna take no money just to disrespect a nigga. Mm -hmm. Why you gonna take money to that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And me, I ain't paying. I ain't paying no man to do nothing. No, where I come from, we don't pay for nothing, nigga. We don't pay for nothing in the world. Let me see that food break mine over here. Where I come from, we don't pay for nothing in the world. So you know what I'm saying? What type of nigga do that make AI app? He ain't never been known to be that type of nigga. So why would he start being that type of nigga today? You feel me? Last, last question. Um, we ain't done. I, I hope this ain't done. the last question. I got more to talk about. <laughs> All right, <good. laughs> We ain't had. We in grilled cheeses. We in the middle of Philadelphia. We we'll be sitting downtown. You know what I'm saying? We took time out at four in the morning. The hip hop 1987. This nigga. I've been rocking with him before his website got popping. Yeah. Nothing ain't gonna change, you feel me? I ain't the type of, I feel like. What they say about Philly? Bring each other down, man. Philly, the Philly, no, cause I don't wanna say it. I don't wanna make it seem like I'm the one that say it because I'm, I'm popping right now. What they say about Philly is when you start popping, everybody wanna bring you down. Now, let, now let's do it like this. Flame is, when you say I start popping, Flame is too. Mm -hmm. Flamers too. I had Gilly the Kid all over Flamers too. I had Black the Nail all over Flamers too. Oscino. I had Young Chris, Oskino, Petey Crack. Uh, we even had casting on Flamers too, right? Or Flamers One? It was on One. Yeah. Uh, uh, NH, Nitty, like these niggas that's not even that like, wasn't cracking at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and that city, city did the did numbers or whatever that, that popped me off. And that city had a city on Smash radio play all day. If you ask those skin, those skin, those no, little young nigga put me on the radio. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I don't take no credit from them. I think they added to the song as much as I added to the song. But old skin like that, he called from jail. Ain't nothing changed. He can't feel it. He locked up. None of these niggas don't call me no more out here. As far as I'm concerned, what you, how you feel about all these niggas, P-Mont? Keep it all the way 100. I feel like, I feel like these niggas be hating. You go through these niggas' tweets, you look at their songs, you look at their shit, you They end up right hating. And when they see me, and first of all, let's keep it like this, too. I don't even see these. I've been in the city. I was just in, a, in, in Philly for 30 days. The judge made me stay in Philly, day, Philly for 30 days, whatever. I ain't had no dirty yarns. I ain't catching no new cases. I ain't let my fans down in no sort of way. I had to stay here for 30 days, however it happened. I ain't seen nobody since I've been here. I've I been, I been going out to every party. Uh, I've I been in the streets all day. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I see a lot of indirect talking and a lot of sideline hating. But when niggas see me, they don't say none of that. It's, it's handshake, smile, let me get a verse. My, my whole thing is like, nigga... Just keep it a hundred. Nigga like me, when I wasn't popping, hey yo, I need a verse. Oskino, let me get a verse. Oskino's the first nigga to do a verse with me when I, before y'all have even heard of me. Oskino's the first nigga. He was popping at the time. None of these other niggas really did a, a verse with me when I was popping at the time. Nobody. And when I was popping, I still repeatedly had a bunch of niggas on my shit. Had a bunch of niggas on my shit. House party. I... My label wanted me to take Young Chris off. We, I argued to keep him on there. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He's from Philly. I argued to keep Chris on House Party. That was a fucking single at that. It was, it was a power song. It was popping at the time. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to take Young Chris off, put Wale on it. And Wale, my nigga, too. Chris from Philly. How Philly want to look at me? I take a Philly nigga off the song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, 100. Chris, all right, boy. Keep him on the song. What else? What other, what other type of shit? It's just a lot of the type of shit that you see. It's like sideline hating there. I, don't know, I, I just be wanting to address it because me, to me, niggas seem bitter. Nigga, they seem bitter because they ain't getting no money. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, the hoes is transferring over. And I've been told that. I, I told that we, we was chilling one day. It was me, Dion's Waiters, Leek Wayne's. I be telling the twins when I say, I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying? It's a new way. The hoes going to transfer over. It's, it's new niggas. And I feel like, I feel like Vinny Siegel, when he was doing it, 
he was doing it, you know what I'm saying? For however long, if he, he made mistakes, whatever, however he did it, shout out to him, free him, however he did it. He did it. He came through here in them Bentleys and the Maserati. He motivated me, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I was never even cool with Mac. Like, I ain't know Mac back then. But he motivated me, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't never had no hate towards him. And I was coming up, I wasn't trying to just be any secret to get on. I wasn't trying to just nobody get on. I'm like, I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna get this money, you know what I'm saying? Now I just feel like a lot of these niggas, man, they sour because niggas getting money. And that's where Philly go wrong, yeah, where niggas never go wrong. If you a nigga go try to get a deal, I, I done had eight niggas and seen them in trying to get deals and you know what they called me? You know the record label said, where's me and you act with it and you know what I'm saying? Cause they look at it like this. You think in Philly, Meek Mill's from Philly. You think Philly, you want to think Meek Mill is the hottest young poppin' nigga. A label want to take the easiest route out they want. So if you from Philly, you get signed, do you fuck with Meek Mill? Do you fuck with a Benny Ziggle? Do you fuck with somebody that that already put work in the game? You you not no rap sheet if you're trying to get signed, basically. And I'm not going to refer none of you hating ass nigga. You hating on me, damn, I'm going to refer you nigga. Think I want, you think I'm going to help you out, nigga, if you hate all these niggas? And I'm going to say it like this. 70%, matter of fact, what's your percentage going on these niggas? 90%. Yeah, 90% of these niggas, they be hating, man. I, I see it in their face, man. I step up in the cloud, I go show them niggas be hating. I be mad, nigga. And I don't do nothing to make them mad. I don't even be around. I've been around for 30 days, but I ain't seen nobody. I only been I've been on the road for damn near two years. I don't do nothing to make you mad. Why you mad at me? That's what I want to know. Did I fuck your bitch? If I did by mistake, I'm sorry. Am I getting too much money? Is this this AP reflecting off the camera too hard? This the part where I talk shit. This is this the section. This the section where I make niggas mad. Cause I want to know. Is the, is is the P my fuck your bitch? The Melly fuck your bitch? Is Instagram hurting your heart? Cause I was talking to Lee Wayne, real shit, I was talking to Lee Wayne, he said, no, it's that Instagram, man. That shit be hitting niggas in their chest. Niggas running around, <laughs> niggas running around asking Lee Wayne to borrow $20. Throwing, sick, throwing shots at me, nigga. Don't throw no shots at me, nigga. I'm getting money. You see this watch right here, nigga? It ain't got no ice. It's a hundred grand, nigga. That's a hundred, that's a hundred stacks. Ain't got no ice in it, nigga. When you see this watch, you only gonna see niggas that's getting money in this watch. You ain't gonna see no pump figure in this watch. You know what I'm saying? It's me. And, and I said it. Nigga got a problem with me. All you gotta do is when you see me say it. And then we, we handle it from there, like, man. I ain't put more. I don't wanna be in no violent type. No beef or whatever. And I ain't promoting that. I ain't here to promote that. I'm here to get money. Take care of my family. Handle my business. Like, I just wanna know fuck y'all mad at me for, man. I ain't do nothing but. Open the doors up. I ain't hating. I ain't trying to block nobody out. Me, I actually, I actually want to see other niggas get money, cause, cause when when you only want getting, when you only want doing your thing, it's like you the niggas everybody want to rob. You the niggas everybody want to hate on. Let's go ahead, put some more people out here. I don't want to be the main target. I want to get money and live my life. But it's just like no matter what you do, these niggas gonna hate. But if you if you go go YouTube these niggas and go YouTube their previous video, same niggas in my videos. These same niggas calling for a verse. Same niggas, they ain't get their way, they ain't get their verse, and they ain't mad at you. Nigga, why ain't you mad at me, nigga? I ain't do verses for niggas that's popping in the game right now, cause I might have been on the road or some and really too, let me tell you, that's how that beef started with the other dude. Remember that? He called me for a verse. And it took me like three weeks. I, I ain't do it. He called me back two weeks later, like Damn, like, you could have did the verse, like, when I was popping, I did your verse, nigga, when, when you got on my remix of the song, you wasn't popping, nigga, that was in 09, that was probably 08, 09, you wasn't popping it, nigga, you, you got on it because I had Cosmic Kev on Smash and you was trying to get Philly Radio back and the other homie was coming at your neck and I put both of y'all in the song and ended it like that, nigga. Well, I'm the nigga out here running around, I just came from the shelter. 7,500 on toys to the little kids in the shelter. I just came from Troy Bay Mansion. 10,000 to my old school. 
me and Lou, we did 10, 10K a piece on coats, passed them on to the whole North Philly. Uh, uh, the little girl just got kidnapped the other day. I ain't, I ain't seen none. I ain't really even seen none of them other niggas. No other rappers post that shit. Real talk. I ain't seen none of them niggas post that shit. And 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 I was thinking about it. It was like four in the morning. I was thinking about that little girl. I said I seen. I, I had seen somebody else on Instagram. A reward ten thousand. I put that shit right up, man. Make the reward another ten thousand. Nigga, make that shit twenty thousand. You know what I'm saying? I'm a motherfucker out here looking out for them kids and making shit happen. Probably gave a coat to one of you niggas, little cousin. Y'all niggas running around here. I don't understand it. My whole thing, I don't understand it. What else? You got any more questions? You got any more personal questions you want to ask? Huh? <laughs> no, <Nah>, man. <laughs> Just want to know, uh, what's up with 2013 Dream Chasers Records, man? Got a lot of artists, you know what I mean? You just signed, you working we gonna, with. Yeah, we're going to start beating these niggas the fuck up. You know The niggas I'm signing... Got goons and shooters with him. The niggas I'm with, they got shooters and goons with them. It's just making it more crazy, you know what I'm saying? More money coming to the city. We got Louis V. Gutter. We got, we got, uh, Dave Patton, Jordan, Lil Snoop, uh, Lee Amazing, and we got a few more to come. We got, we got, we got a few more, but these guys are on the paperwork right now, man. So I want to speak on. I'm, let me speak on the uh, Louis V and Tom Trump situation. So, can I tell you about it? Yeah, you can it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you got to get it all right now. <laughs> me, I think. Oh right uh, yeah, I'm about to quit. I think Louis V and them went at Tom Trump by mistake. Real <laughs> 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 shit. I don't got nothing against Tom Trump. <laughs> but you know, once it happened, it ain't no turning back. Whatever happened, happened. It is what it is. Louis V and them, they they were they my team, so I'm all, I'm down for whatever they down for, whatever. But me personally, I think they went at them by mistake. <laughs> they seen each other or whatever. I don't think they. <laughs> man, you text about it. Yeah, I think so too. Man. The misunderstanding got his ass with. Mm. Look, a motherfucker, he texted on some shit like, "What's that? What he tweeted?" I turn up, turn up. Turn yeah, up. I bet y'all won't turn up. Yeah, bet y'all won't turn up. But Jeezy had a Jeezy song called song. I Bet You Won't Turn Up. Yeah, yeah, produced by John Will. But yeah. they ain't know that until after I said something to Gutter. He like, no, I ain't know that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, me, I think it was a mistake, misunderstanding, but it happened. Uh, Trump, Trump probably feel some type of way, so it ain't gonna never be over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But me, I think it was a misunderstanding. You know, motherfucker, I done had T.I. call me. Damn, so what's up? You you got people moving on Jeezy low. I'm like, man, come on, man. I don't get into no rap beef and all that bullshit. If we see you and if, if me and somebody beefing or whatever, I be I take that shit personal. Like, you know what I'm saying? We take it personal. I don't get into no rap beef. If Ross in a rap, because that shit go to another level. Where I'm from, I seen niggas at rap battles and say the wrong thing, get shot in their face at a rap battle. Or, you know what I'm saying? Niggas rap this and then this type of shit. They get shot over that shit. If you don't want no parts of that, if you rich, I look at it like all them guys rich. They don't want to go to jail. Which one of these dudes, which one of these dudes think you're trying to go to jail be fighting a body right now? None of these do. So I look at it if, if it ain't nothing about nothing serious, man. Nobody laying no hands on nobody and or nobody taking no money from nobody. I leave it alone. I see all them rappers, man. I, it ain't no beef with me. Unless unless you make it that and then we turn it into that right there on the spot because you know we don't got no problem with turning it into that if you making it that but for us me we ain't tripping from now on 2013 we spazzing on you hating ass niggas we gonna cop more wheels on you hating ass niggas more houses more watches more jewelry and we gonna make you niggas mad as shit that's how I'm, that's how I'm feeling it ain't no real Huh? You're motivating us. And what you going what what you gonna do to these niggas, man? You have to talk about me, Miller. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> man, these days coming too, you know what I'm saying? We ain't playing no games, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, man. This gonna be this gonna be your extra footage, you know what I mean? When you wanna drop. Check my man wrist out right there. He's gonna 40 grand. Nigga talk about I change all my homies ice out. Mm mm day, nigga. It's a day. I heard the nigga rap. I heard a nigga rap today. Little peon ass nigga. He said, "Yeah, nigga, you don't know how to act. 
Cause you got money, cause you ain't never had no money, nigga. I ain't had. Think about it. What well, year yeah, I've been popping since? Oh nine. Mm -hmm. Charlie Mack. When I was with Charlie Mack, I had a hundred stacks, man. I was blowing a hundred stacks like it was water on house arrest, man. And for say nigga say I act like I ain't never had nothing. First of all, that Aston. I'm, I probably only drove that Aston four times. All my niggas drive that shit. That ghost, I probably only drove that shit nine times. Everybody else, nigga, if if I know some bitches from Philly that's going to Miami and I'm cool with them bitches, what I'm gonna say, V-Mine? I'm gonna let them hold my wheels. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for shit, this here. If I'm cool, if you going to Miami mm -hmm. any day, I'm gonna be like, yo, if you wanna hold the wheels, you got your license, go ahead, you go hold the wheels. That's what I do, I don't, we don't give a fuck, nigga. I might not let you hold my dirt bike, but. <laughs> We let you hold the ghost in the Ferrari or Panamera or some shit like that. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about this shit. I just like to talk shit. I enjoy making hating niggas mad. I like making hating niggas mad. That shit motivate me. When I hear a nigga hating on me, I like niggas see Meek Mill fell off. Or Meek Mill, man, he ain't gonna be having no money by next year. That shit keep me on my job. No, you, you know? doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit keep me on my job. And that boy Bing, you know my man Bing right, right here, he love to knock niggas the fuck out. You already know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> man, anything else you want to say for the camera, man? Or yeah, we just spazzing on y'all hating ass niggas, man. I'm still out here. I'm still bending corners in them forms. My team's still strong as shit. I stay iced out and I won't, and this, I won't, nigga ain't taking nothing from me. And they gonna take a sign from me, he gonna wear that. He gonna wear that thing to his uh to his viewing. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna lay there and look nice in there. Ain't nobody taking nothing from me, nigga. I got a son, nigga. My son gotta eat. My family gotta eat. Ain't nobody taking nothing from me. I hear about y'all niggas getting robbed and all that dumb ass shit. Well, if you getting robbed, don't make no diss track about me, homie. You got business to handle out here. We ain't got no we ain't got no beef in the street, you know what I'm saying? Meet Millie, meet Millie, Dream Chasers, uh BH, we ain't going to war out here in these streets. We living cool. We getting money. We ain't promoting violence. We ain't going to talk too much about violence. We ain't promoting violence. Just living life. But if you getting robbed and you got problems out here, don't be rapping about me. No, man. Go handle your B.I. Because our B.I. is handled, man. We just out here living, getting money. It's your boy, McMilly, D.C. Get ready, man. Hip-hop since 1987.com. Log on.